Hello guys, this is Arlena Lynch, and this is going to be my five minute video on how to get all these looks in your home for a little of nothing. This, these projects has actually probably costed me no more than $15 to do all of these things. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to show you today is my paper plate holder. Okay, this was all wood and stain. My stepdad made it. But, guess what? After being in my kitchen for a while, it needed a new coat of paint and a new life. <laughs> I definitely need a new look because I've been in the kitchen and everything, and everybody touching it and grease and oils and everything, it really needed a new look. So, what I did was I used my Waverly really Inspiration Chalk Paint. It's a no prep paint and it's chalk and stuff the texture feel. It sticks to just about anything. Not everything, but almost everything. I gave it a total coat of the Waverly really Inspiration Chalk Paint. Painted the heart red. Added two-tone brown. Left some of the white showing through to give it like more of a three-tone kind of color. Retouched my letters with the white chalk paint. And then painted over them actually with um, pearl white, which has got a shimmer to it, um, over the letters to give it a more kind of standing out kind of look. Um, this, uh, it's metallic, it's pearl white, and it is made by, let's see here, Folk Art. Yep. And I'm not for sure how much that one is, that bottle is, because... I think my aunt actually bought that bottle, but it's at Walmart if you're looking for it. And I think it's no more than maybe like a dollar or so. The Inspirational Chalk Paint is like $10, but it goes a long way, guys. Trust me, long way. The next thing I'm going to show you. Oh, by the way, the only thing I like to do for my paper plate holder is Mod Podge. But after you paint something, let it at least set for a couple hours to a half a day. That way when you mod podge it, you know everything is dry and it's not going to smear, smudge, and ruin. Okay, the next thing I have here, let me get this out of the way, is my terracotta pot. And this, my husband had killed my aloe plant, okay, and then had to buy me a new one and it was a baby one so it came in this but it grew up and we had to transplant so I had this terracotta plant and didn't know what to do with it so I watched a YouTube video and watched this girl and how she redone terracotta plants and I thought this would be really super cute for my daughter's room Um, it's not quite finished yet I gave it a coat of the Waverly Inspiration chalk paint and then the blue at the top was the apple barrel, the gloss. I put her name on it, made a cute little face, and as soon as I can get to my local dollar store, Walmart, or Dollar Tree, I'm going to buy either the little rocks that go on the fish tank, which will either be a brown or a white or something. You could do multicolored if you wanted to. Um, or I'm going to buy the big stones and put in there. And then put like a little fake, couple of little fake flowers and set it in her room. So it gives it her own personality. If you have, if this is going in a young child's room, you might not want to use the little rocks because they will put them up their nose, ears, and mouth and could be like a hazard to them. So I would suggest maybe using the bigger stones. But this being breakable, I still probably wouldn't recommend it in there. But my daughter is four and I've taught her really well not to touch nothing. So, I'm hoping that goes well. If not, I guess this is going to be broke and I will not put nothing into her because she's about eight years old. <laughs> anyway, my next project was today was I actually, and I overlooked my nasty canisters because I really got to clean them, but it's caused the flare and it all gets all poofed up. And my canisters are peeling right here. And so, when I take and clean these, I'm going to actually scrub the rest of this off because it just like kind of scratches and peels off. The top right here does not, and this does not, but around this does. So I'm just going to finish taking this off and make it all silver. This one, this one, it's actually just about done that way. I think there's a spot there, but 
That's kind of what it's going to look like. But this is actually very pretty bronze. And I took my Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. I took my some stencils. And I stenciled it on. It's actually really cute you guys and it was really quick the inspiration chalk paint actually dries really quick so I'm going to clean these up and set them in my kitchen I've done my flour cornmeal beans and tea and I think they're going to look absolutely wonderful in my kitchen now that it's labeled um another quick little thing before I go uh I, I bought, I got, I got this great deal at Walmart. These had been, um, turn it up here, $1.97. I got them for 49 cents at Walmart in the Christmas section. They went on sale and things were 75% off. So I'm going to recover those and show a tutorial on those, um, here real soon. But my time is already at 6.06. Well, going on now. It's a little later. But, uh, I really wanted to show this stuff because I really want to tell you guys that the only thing that I actually needed during these projects, and that's including the flower pot, the paper plate holder, and my canisters, was the Waverly chalk paint, the apple barrel paint, and my imagination. The only other thing that I am going to need is the Mod Podge, which, like I said, I have got to let that set before I can basically do anything else, and uh, some paint brushes. Uh, I did use an old garbage bag to lay my like my painting station just because it keeps things mess free and once you clean up you can just throw that away and get a new one out so that's kind of what I've done for that but those were my projects today I hope that this really helped I'm going to get my kitchen put together so I'm trying to do it in a coffee theme so with a pop of color is going to be like the red orange and green tones because it's Okay, but anyway, so basically, all you need is, I lost my whole train of thought because my little girl came through and I had to help her. But anyway, um, once I get my kitchen together and everything actually put together, I'm going to take my video and video it and show you how that I've done each thing and how you can do these things with when you ain't have, when you ain't got no budget, when you've got little to no money, Okay. I'm going to show you how to redo things to make things come together without having to go out and spend a big load of money. Because sometimes you ain't got it to spend. But you don't, you want to make change, but you just ain't got the money to do that. But I'm going to show you some ways around that. There is sometimes we have to spend money. There are sometimes we don't. So, the thing is, I'm going to show you how to do things. That it's going to save money save time and give you the look that you want and my channel I had it named but I'm gonna rename it just because I feel like I want to name it something different something that kind of expresses who I am and that my dear friends is called beautiful budget because it is a beautiful budget because it's not a high budget it's a low budget to get the look that you want so anyway I hope you've enjoyed my videos and I hope that this has been some help to you. I know you didn't see me do these things, but sometimes things are so simple. I can tell you, show you how they look, and you can do the same thing. All you need is a little time, a little patience, imaginations, and a few crafty things here and there laying around. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And until next time, guys, have a nice day and God bless.